When Apple released iOS 16 last fall for the iPhone, the Photos app included a pretty cool new feature that allowed you to long press on an object in a photo and magically lift it off the background. You could then do whatever you wanted with that. It was a Photoshop-like magical tool. And now the Galaxy S23 has it in the Gallery app. Now, I'm not gonna say Samsung copied the feature, but it works exactly the same. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to show you how to use Samsung's new object cutout tool on the Galaxy S23. Technically, this feature is part of Samsung's One UI 5.1 update, which is currently rolling out to older Galaxy devices like the S22 and the S20 and the Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4. However, it appears that this feature, the object cutout tool, is limited specifically to the Galaxy S23. Maybe this is a performance issue, or I don't know the reason, but right now it is only on the Galaxy S23. So it's technically called the Object Cutout Tool. That's a long, fancy, not really fancy, way of saying you can take an object and lift it off the background and then copy it, share it, or save it as a new photo background free. And it works, like I said, exactly like it does on the iPhone. So what you'll do is you'll open the gallery app. You're gonna to wanna to navigate to a photo that has a clear object in the foreground and a clear background. It does best with that kind of scenario, like for example, when you're looking at a picture of a cup of coffee from the top. There's a very clear foreground, the white cup, and there's a clear, very clear background, the dark desk. Okay, so you'll wanna pick pictures like that. You can experiment with this though, like. There's no limit on which photos you can and can't use it on. You're just gonna get the best results with the picture that looks like this. All right, so what you'll do once you have a photo picked out, and I actually have an album here with a few photos that this works great on. And so I'm gonna start with the coffee cup. You'll long press on the coffee cup in this instance or whatever the object is. You'll see like a ripple or a pulse come out from where your finger is on the photo, letting you know that it's doing some magic, and then you'll feel some haptic feedback once the object has been removed from the background, and it'll kind of pop and lift off of the display. So then you can swirl your finger around, move the object. If you're in split screen mode, have multiple apps open, you can drag and drop this between apps. However, the easiest way to do this is just let go, and then there's a menu that pops up that says copy, share, save as image copy, copy and paste it from the galleries app to messages, Facebook, wherever. Share, you can share it directly to another app. Save as image, it saves that image as a standalone image without the background in the gallery app, which is kind of cool. It, it looks really good and actually saving it is allows you to see the edges, see if it picked up any of the background as it was pulling it off. It, it works really well. All right, so as you saw, that feature works just like it does on the iPhone, which is fine, it's great. I'm glad phones have this feature now. And going forward, it's something that I know I use all the time, but going forward, we'll use a lot more, especially if it's coming to Android devices. Hopefully Google adds it to the Pixel line here soon. It is fun to use. Make sure you experiment with it. Create some collages, do a lot of extra stuff with it. I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. Make sure to check out more how-to tips just like this one, as well as all the latest tech news and reviews at ZDNet.com.